Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be going through this ESV Reader's Bible, Cloth Overboard, uh, put out by Crossway. English Standard Version is what ESV stands for, if you are not sure. Um, for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm Steve. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel. While you're here, you're going to get challenged and encouraged to be the Christian you claim to be. I'm going to do that by going through scripture and reviewing solid resources and tools to make your day-to-day -day better and more Christ-focused. Let's get into this Reader's Bible. This came up in a video that I did uh, probably a month or two ago where I was showing you different types of Bibles that you might choose to get the job done. And this is a fantastic resource if you're looking for something to just sit down and read. You're not looking for a study Bible or a reference Bible. You just want to read. Something like this is for you. So I'm happy to show it to you today. I am going to compare it with a couple other Bibles. So let's take a look at the box. Um, this is cloth over board. And it comes in a really nice box. I, I'll, I don't usually keep Bibles in boxes, but this box is so nice that it will, it'll probably live in the box um, because there's no reason not to. The box is super nice. It's pretty stiff. Gives you a little bit about the Bible in the back. So 9.5 point font. There are no verse numbers or footnotes. Okay, single column format with two ribbon markers. Yay, Crossway. Thank you so much for more than one ribbon. Oh, here we go. ISBN for you. It retails for $34.99. Um, and I, I think that it's absolutely worth that. You can find deals on like christianbook.com. I'll leave a link uh, to this exact Bible on their website. And sometimes they, they have discounts and stuff. So always keep your eye out for that. All right, let's get rid of the box and take a look at the Bible. So cloth overboard, and it does, it feels like cloth overboard. It's pleasant in my hand. Um, it's not like burlap or anything like that. It's pretty soft. The spine has raised ridges, raised ribs, and it says Holy Bible, ESV, the Crossway logo, English Standard Version. And they did not stamp the ISBN into the back. Thank you so much for not doing that. That always bugs me. I don't know why it bugs me. It just does. All right. And again, two ribbon markers. Yay, Crossway. Thank you so much because ribbons can't be that expensive. So let's get into this sucker and look at what's in there. Oh, you know what? Before we do that, I want to give you a quick comparison. So this is a Pit Minion by Cambridge. So it's just a little bit bigger than a pit minion. It's quite a bit thicker. It's probably two times as thick, but it's not much bigger. So easy to carry around. And this second one is uh, just a Crossway ESV thin line reference Bible. So if you own one of these two, you'll know about what you're getting. And again, it's about twice as thick, but really there's not much weight to it. Very easy to hold in your hand, especially because it's hard cover. You get a couple of blank pages in the beginning. And then a presentation page. Fill this out. If you're giving it away, fill it out. If it's yours, fill it out. A hundred years from now, your family is going to want to know whose this is. All right, and we get our title page. And all our information, it is printed in China. And if you want to pause and, and read all the permissions and notes, and you may do that. And then a basic table of contents, introduction, and just the books of the canon, 66 books of the canon. So this is a, a basic introduction and it talks a little bit about structure. You may or may not know, of course, the original autographs of the 66 books of the canon did not have, um, they didn't have numbers and chapters, headings, and everything that we have in our modern Bibles. Those were added much later to help us navigate and negotiate through the Bible. Um, but the original Hebrew and the original Greek writings where we get the Bible from, didn't have any of that. It was just 
words on a page is essentially, um, from my understanding, they didn't even really have spaces between the words. They just knew how to read that. And that matters. How, you, how you're reading the Bible, how it's structured, might change how you're reading a passage. Sometimes the words or the numbers kind of get in the way and might detract or distract you uh, from just sitting back and reading. And that's why a nice reader's Bible uh, is always a good thing to have because the first couple times as you're studying a new book, you might just pick it up and open up your reader's Bible and not get distracted by all the numbers and title headings until you really get digging deep. So then we get into uh, the text, okay? So it is laid out like a Bible, um, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, and it gives you basic up top here, it gives you basically where you're at, the verses that it covers. But as you can see, they are not included here. Every once in a while, they'll give you one just so you kind of know, you know, if, if you're following along with somebody or whatever. But look at how nice it is. <laughs> it just looks like a book. So as you're reading, um, it, it just reads like a book. You don't have to worry about where you're starting, where you're stopping. There's plenty of room in the margins. Uh, this personally isn't a book I would probably write in. I am a Bible writer. I love writing and highlighting in Bibles. I have no problem with that. But this book, I probably wouldn't because it's so nice and so pleasant to look at. Nice big 9.5 point font, single column paragraph format uh, that I, I wouldn't have reason to personally to make notes. If this is gonna be the Bible that you underline, highlight, and make notes in, you actually do get a decent amount of space, uh, almost three quarters of an inch in the margins and in the gutters. Um, but no footnotes. The books do start on a new page, uh, and that's a weird thing for me. I love when they start on a weird page, it, uh, or on a new page. It drives me nuts when they start, um, like here. If they would have had numbers start right, ah, that just bugs me. I don't know why. So thank you, Crossway, for that. And let's flip to the back. You do get a couple of um, subdued maps back here. And I kind of like them because of the nature and the style of this particular Bible. The subdued nature of these maps are pleasant. I do like my color. I like my, my colorful maps that, that I get in some of the study Bibles. Uh, but you know what? For this Bible and the tool that it is, I, I think these maps are perfect. And there's not a ton of them. I think there's three, four total. And a couple of white pages in the back. And that's it. Um, so again, uh, this was, I, I'm glad that I got to show this to you because it came up in some questions and I didn't have one. Uh, I, I, this is my first reader's Bible and I'm glad that I have it. I do read through it because it's pleasant to just sit on the couch or sit in your office and, and read through the text without, you know, all the numbers and he t like paragraph headings and titles and this and that. Uh, you just sit and read and it's, it's comfortable, it's enjoyable. The font is, is pretty nice, uh, nicely laid out, uh, and it's different. It's a different way to engage in the text without the opportunity for distractions if you're just sitting reading uh, pages and pages and pages at a time. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments, and I've, as always, I will do my best to answer them. I thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget, be who you claim to be. If you like this video and feel it may help you or others, please make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, if you've enjoyed the content and feel led to contribute to help this ministry continue, I've put a link to my PayPal account in the description. Have a great day and may the road rise to meet you.